So hello friends, my name is Shivaj. I came after a long time because I was busy in something personal. So let's start. Space Shuttle. It flew until 1981 till 2011. Now Space Shuttle is retired. It no longer flies. But it's still used for space programs. In USA, there were four sites. Wellenberg Air Force Base in California, Edwards Air Force Base in California, Houston, Texas, and then the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. All 135 missions were launched out of Florida of Kennedy Space Center. Wellenberg and Edwards Air Force Bases have been retired and the Houston, Texas only launched Apollo 11. Okay, so let us take a closer look at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. First, we will learn the parts of the orbiter of the space shuttle. Okay, first there is an orbiter, external tank and there are two solid rocket booster means SRBs. Okay, now let us look at the Kennedy Space Center. Here is a launch complex 39A and 39B. There are two, both of the shuttle missions were launched from both of these pads. Okay, and the buildings are way over here. Okay. This is called the VAB, otherwise the Vehicle Assembly Building. This is, these are three OPF buildings, means uh, Orbital Processing Facility. And here is a Launch Control Center, means LCC, okay? Now let us see how, suppose now this have been launched and now it is landed. So there is a carrier which take it, takes it to the OPS and now the engineer will take Clear the check to the parts and then because that's why it is used for future missions. That's why it, it can take even year, sometimes seven, several months. Okay. The work starts over here at the VAB. The solid rocket boosters are assembled piece by piece and then the ex external tank is lifted and mounted to the side of the external tank. Okay. So, now, it is lifted now. Now, the orbiter comes out of the OPF. Now, oh, now the orbiter is transferred from the OPF to the VAB. Okay. So, first it is lifted into a crane. And when it comes in, when, remember, when it comes in, it means the roll in. Okay. Now, it is carried on a crane. Slowly did it on the vertical position. And then, go on to the highway and then mount it to the side of the external tank. Fluid connections are open to mount the side of an external tank. Okay, now it's made a space shuttle and now it is taken out from the VAB. Otherwise, it is called a rollout and one of those launch pads is more than 5 kilometers away. Now let us see how, how it is transferred from the VAB to the one of the launch pads. There is a carrier. It is the crawler transporter which carries it from the VAB to the launch pad. Okay. And there is a mobile launch platform where it is connected with solid rocket boosters and it anchored to the orbiter. Okay. Now the crawler transporters run still 1.3 kilometers per hour. It takes many hours to reach one of the launch pads. Sometimes it can take one single day. Okay. Now when it is up the position of the here. So now hmm, now the crawler goes back and then, then what happens to the platform? It is kept down on supports. Okay. And the crawler goes back the ramp. Okay. Now let us see. There are two service structures. One is the rotating service structure and the fixed service structure. Okay. The rotating service structure has payloads which can be kept on the orbiter vehicle. Sometimes the payloads are kept here when on the launch pad and sometimes it can be kept on the OPA building. And the fixed service structure has three arcs and a lightning mass on top. Okay. So, so now let us learn about the three service arms. There is hydrogen vent arm, oxygen vent arm and orbiter access arm. Let us first learn about hydrogen vent arm. It keeps cool down the hydrogen tank, okay, where it is filled, okay. And remember this also, in this external tank, there are two smaller tanks, one for liquid hydrogen and one for liquid oxygen, okay. 
and now oxygen vent arm oxygen vent arm keeps cool to the oxygen here and that's why the beanie cap is really important to keep that it, it would not freeze and the orbital axis arm in the end of the orbital axis arm there is white room where the where the astronauts enter the shuttle okay now we have run about it now we will now the countdown starts t minus 5 hours and 35 minutes fuel began loading into the external tank the fuel comes from the white fuel tanks okay and now t minus 3 hours the astronauts leave from the launch pad and enter the orbital vehicle means there are more and most missions there are six or sometimes seven three on the mid deck four on the flight deck okay and now 3 t times 7 minutes the orbital axis arm is slowly retracted means this arm is slowly retracted and when there is an emergency so now it will quickly bring it back to the place okay t minus 3 minute the main engine gimbal test to test make sure that it's working correctly what about this meaning of gimbal that it can be pushed up or down okay now t minus 2 minutes the beanie cap is lifted and the oxygen vent is retracted means this beanie cap is lifted up and the oxygen vent arm is retracted and t minus 2 minutes and now t minus 10 seconds it activates the hydrogen burn off system it doesn't start the engines it starts over here at the orbital of the three main engines it is used that it can cause an unexpected explosion at the launch okay t minus 6.6 seconds Uh, there is then the three main engines activated okay and now t minus 0 seconds many things happened this time oxygen hydrogen vent arm is retracted the eight hold on boards which were in the launch pad are detonated which free the shuttle and then what happened three two one launch when it is launched so when they are up 32 miles per uh, per miles above the earth okay so what happens the srbs are separated because because there is because when ignition start the fuel cannot be stopped so it means it will go up side and never come down so that's why it's separated and fall on back to earth and we, which will be re recovered by boat and that's why it will be used for future shuttle missions and then when they come out of space or uh, 60 miles per ground area so what happens there is a thing called mico what is happens that external tank is separated now it is separated now now there is no use of rockets or on my otherwise space shuttle main engine now we have to use the oms rocket motors oms means orbital maneuvering system okay so it, it gives a last push into orbit and now it orbits the earth releases a satellite and then comes back to ground on this orbital landing area the end what do we pray is like subscribe share it to your friends brothers sisters and thank you bye bye zooming